All right, Justin. I don't know why I just said your name. No, no, it's you, you like one, two, three. Out. Girl, Girl power. power. No, uh, we're welcoming uh, Stephanie Obregozo, guest trainer, to Mind Pump Media. Did he say that right? You, did I say did your name right? Did he say it right? Yeah, Obreg sure. Obregozo. Sure, sure. Yeah. Obregozo. Good. I like how you rolled the R. Obregozo. I, yeah. I, but I tried to sound. Obregozo. It <laughs> makes everything Italian. So you were going to show us um, uh, kind of a series of things for spinal health, and the first movement we were going to talk about was like the roll up, like the old school sit up. You want to kind of walk me through that? Sure. In my opinion, the best sit-up. This is actually... Yeah, I think this trumps all other sit-ups. This is the best... I feel like that's in the title. This yeah. is the best core exercise I've ever done. Because it actually works your abs and not just your hip flexors. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So. And I feel like every client should learn how to do this first before they do all the other fun, crazy it's stuff. It's remarkably right? difficult. Remarkably difficult. Okay, so I'll, I'll start in the get-ready position. All right, Sal. So if you want, you can bend your knees a little bit. Okay. Okay. And now just reach your arms out. Okay, and you can bring them to the outside of your legs just so you don't bump into anything. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. tuck your chin towards your chest. Now see if you can roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Start with the head. Exhale as you come up. Good, nice and slow. Good, and you're gonna come up till you get to almost the top right there is good. Now try to reverse that movement, so hollow out. Try to lay down that lower lumbar vertebra on the ground. Ooh, that's hard. Yep. One at a time. Nice and clink, slow, clink, nice clink, and slow. Clink, clink, clink. Good. Now, if you were going to do reps, I would tell you to stay right there and come back up for the next one. Oh, and there we saw he just picked up his entire torso just a little mm, bit. It broke down the form a little bit. Just in that one so spot. So this is where yeah. you would have somebody actually come in, and if you had a partner, could kind Someone of... could provide some assistance. So when I, when I do this exercise with assistance, if you want, you can start from the fully extended position okay. all the way down. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut my hands like this. Okay. And I'm not going to help you, but if you, I start Allow to me fit. to help myself? Exactly. Got it. Okay, so chin to chest, one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Good. It's remarkably First, difficult. Do another full rep with her help of you, because I, I want to watch Whoa. where you have the challenge at. Yeah, you see right where he has to get a little bit of help and assistance right there. Right. Yeah, this is, they're, they're uh, remarkably difficult. I've, you know, I've done these in the past, and as far as like ab building movements, it's one of the most effective ones I've ever done. But it's very, very hard to do. Um, and I was doing the easy version. If you want to make it more difficult, you could just lengthen the lever, bring the hands here, and then bring them overhead. Right, so Very I'll give you an cheap. example of what, what sometimes people do that's incorrect with this movement. Okay. I can show you. If sure. you can be me and provide me Absolutely. some of the assistance. Okay. Okay, so I'll start from here. So the incorrect way would be for me to pick up my whole torso. Oh, I see. This way, even if I go slowly. So, so you're not rolling up, you're just You're really up. articulating. And even there, I can feel I kind of laid down mm -hmm. my entire spine in one piece. That was really nice right there. Yeah. So would you say it's like rolling up a piece of paper, right? Like yeah, one exactly. little piece you're, of paper. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to articulate just one vertebra at a time. And where you get stuck, that's where the hitch is. Like, that's where the problem is. And so you'd want to work on that area specifically. Excellent. And you could do that by shortening the range of motion and just working within that difficult range, or you could work through the full range of the movement. Now, if you were by yourself and, and one is already challenging, what do you think about maybe uh, like wrapping like a, a rubber band around like a, you know, like a squat rack over there? If I were to wrap around and then I kind of have that sure. to assist and help Definitely. me. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, or you could sling something up and over and have like a five pound weight attached or a two and a half pound weight, depending on how much assistance you okay. need. Yeah, and the thing really to keep in mind with this movement is you're looking at, you're probably looking at low reps. Uh, many of you who think you have really strong core uh, muscles, if you do this properly, you may get five slow repetitions. I don't foresee a lot of people doing tons and tons of reps until well, you get really good at this. I think it's important to note that too, that you're better off slowing it even more down and controlling it more than getting more reps. I'd rather see a client do three where they are just like s such micro movements versus someone who gets seven of them out at a faster pace, right? So I think you put even more emphasis on slowing every, every little movement down the entire process, right? And for me, that also helps to identify where I need flexibility too, like with my thoracic 
uh, region, like I really needed to work on that and there were steps I needed to take in order to be able to get that type of a role response uh, to articulate, so. Excellent, Definitely. there you go. One of our favorite uh, core exercises.